Welcome to vlog week 114. Woohoo! 114 weeks. 114 weeks. It is Friday today. It is Friday. I'm just a parrot. I just keep repeating what Tweez says. The story of my life. We have Tweez assistant coming over today mm -hmm. to help her because she's a messy bitch mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and just clean up her shit. Yes. Yeah. I've really got a workout in. You haven't, have you? Oh, so good luck to you later. Thanks. Ah! I don't know you know, last week we were at shopping and they didn't have anything in store. Right? This is the thing about designer stuff, yeah? You would think, yeah, okay, you come in the store, you got some money to spend, you would think that they would have everything that you need ready to take your cash, but no, designer life doesn't work like that. You go in and it's like, oh no, it's limited edition. There's only one left in the UK and it's all the way up in Scotland. And it's like, why? Why'd you tease me like this? Anyways, I liked a few pieces when we went shopping and I had to place them online. Mm -hmm. And I had to wait two, three days for it. Finally, it's here. So we went to this brand here called Axel Arigato. They do nice shoes, they do really nice apparel. And I feel like with Gwang, we looked at his wardrobe and his wardrobe was just not cute, guys. Mm. It was all like old and he likes to wash his clothes after like every single use. So all his clothes are all like, Row! and they're all just not cute anymore. So we're gonna start investing into some core pieces for your wardrobe. Yeah. I haven't really spent loads of money on myself in a sense because we've been saving and saving for so many years i feel like all my 20s are saved yes to live in life in your 30s baby this cost me 400 quid and you yeah. only got two items but it's not too bad you know because we did go other brands and we're like 200 pounds for a t-shirt the quality of this brand though is just like on another level you know sometimes yeah when you look at like a t-shirt from Prada it's like this is literally a t-shirt from Primark that they just put the logo on it with this brand the quality is actually really nice and thick and you can tell that it will last you for a long time this is one of the items that he picked up you haven't actually even seen this in store you literally saw it online oh, so it's a ziplock bag and everything I like a lot of black so I thought let's change it up a little yeah. bit this is our mirror that we stand in and be like mm, do I like that fit today mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like we should have got the black version Version, yeah. There's something that I don't like here, baggy sleeves. This is small, yeah, and the, the arms are like this. T-Rex arms. <laughs> yeah. This was the other item that he tried on last week's vlog, but they didn't have a fresh new one. He was like, if he's splashing that cash, he wants it fresh, fresh for the back. And then this was really nice. Look at that detail, look. There's a black one of it as well, and we was like, toying with the idea of getting a black one. I thought this one is like fresh. The color is like sick. Look how thick that is. It's yeah. like weighty as well. It's super heavy and the knit quality of this is so nice. You can't really see it on camera guys, but it feels nice and thick. It's like a thick old jumper and Twee's not allowed to wear it because she's got a lot of makeup. Don't be hugging girls in this. Oh wow. It's sick. It's very cute. I really like that. Color detail. Mm. It's like the perfect outfit when you want to go like casual, but you also want to look put together as well. It's like a casual dinner. Yes. Like this. Oh yeah, this is nice, man. Are you a superstar? Yeah, you're not allowed to eat in this because every time he eats something, oh, he yeah. always drop stains and curry marks and sauces all over his top. Every time I eat sauce, just gets on me. Don't every know time, guys. Every time. Literally every single time. It's like he's a baby. I need a bit of trying to vlog here. Yeah, I'll give you vlog material. Tweez are fitty today. <laughs> Hello. Barbie she just, has arrived. She just loves to sit in front of this mirror. Yeah. And do TikToks. And do this. And do that. My ass is so jiggly today. This deserves a fashion over ad on its own. We are heading off tonight to see a huge Brazilian DJ called Alok. He is in UK for one night only. So we're gonna go see him DJ. We're gonna party it out with our friends. Mm. I have been feeling really crusty and ugly recently. Okay, I feel like I haven't done no like bomb fire looks where I feel extra hot. So Spicy. I'm really but so I'm wearing this little outfit from Fashion Nova. Really, I should be in Miami or somewhere. Instead, we're gonna go to Minishio Sound. Yeah. And I decided to put in some long ass extensions today. We are running seriously late, guys. It is like 10 o'clock in the evening. We're meant to get there for like 11. Gotta go pick up some friends. And we was meant to leave at 9.30. So you're running late, Missy. Sorry, These earrings, I don't even know where I got them from, but they are so sparkly. I am so excited. We're gonna be hanging out with friends. I feel like our social life is popping right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not too keen mm -hmm. on this t-shirt. Why? Oh, it's cute. We need to take a photo together. Cute. She okay. told me to wear a line. Yeah, because... so we can be a little fruit cocktail, you know what I mean? Anyways, yeah. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. We will see you guys tomorrow when we're looking crusty. Alright, right, yeah. When we're looking hungover. Hello!
I had a wild, wild weekend, guys. I honestly had the best time seeing a lot ministry of sound i swear everyone once in their life needs to experience ministry of sound because it literally feels like you put your head in a speaker and there's like flashing lights everywhere me and graham had the best time ever i'm not gonna lie it's tuesday today and we spent the whole of monday the whole of sunday just lying in bed recovering a shag here and there you know because your girl is finally protected from the pill now hey Today is an exciting day guys because I'm going to be finally going to Royal Wolf to get my veneers! I have been waiting for this moment for so long. I put my teeth through train tracks, I put my teeth through Invisalign and you know they're cute, they're alright, they're alright. They're not what I want them to be. I want them to be like ding! You guys know I got some big ass lips, okay? <laughs> so I need my teeth to be a little bit bigger so they match my big ass lips. I am nervous, I am scared. We're just putting in the temporaries today and I'm gonna have to be super careful with my teeth for the next two weeks because they can chip, they can fall off at any moment in time. But today is gonna be basically the trial and I can see if I want them longer, if I want them whiter, what the exact shape is gonna be. I can eat with it, sleep with it and see how it feels in my mouth. And then in two weeks time, I'm gonna be going back to Royal Wolf and then that's when I put the final porcelain veneers in. Woo! We just arrived at Royal Wharf right here. This is the last time you're gonna see me with these teeth, babe. Fish eyes and this. Last time I get to see the yellow teeth. <laughs> They're gonna be nice and pearly white in three hours time. How exciting! You no. and your British tea teeth. <laughs> I'm nervous, guys. I'm really, really nervous. We've been waiting all this time and today is finally the day Hello! Hello! You're gonna be shaving down my teeth? A little bit, not too much. <laughs> Just a little bit, guys. So normally whenever you guys think about veneers, you guys see, you know, if you go to Turkey, they shave down their teeth into little pegs, which is not what we're doing today. We are gonna be just lightly roughing the surface, right? That's it. Exactly. And then it's like a three hour appointment and it's not meant to be painful, but it's just a long procedure, isn't it? We're making it numb now, guys. I don't want to feel nice. Success. This is the last time you're gonna see it like this. The 95% of the filing is done. Wow, that's amazing. That's two through there. You ready? Mm hmm. Wow, my teeth look so straight. Why is this lip not lifting up, bitch? So at the moment, it's still one big block. Basically, I can't floss in between. So next time when I come in two weeks time, they're gonna be like individual teeth. Wow, that's so cool. Morning guys! Oh my God, yesterday I was out of it, guys. The dentist did tell me that I'm gonna be really tired, really sleepy after my appointment. I'm like, yeah. I was actually meant to go to a glam glow dinner yesterday after my dentist appointment. I was thinking like, maybe I should cancel it, you know, just in case I'm really tired. And I'm so glad that I did because yesterday's session knocked me out, guys. As you guys saw in yesterday's appointment, my lip was just drooped because of the numbing. I literally couldn't even smile. But today I literally woke up and I was literally staring at myself in the mirror. And I was like, oh my God, I have like the perfect smile. However, it didn't last too long because I was having breakfast this morning and I was drinking water out of a glass glass straw because you know I'm bougie like that. I think I must have bashed the glass straw onto my canine tooth and look I'm missing a tooth! Ah! Look at it I'm literally missing a tooth. I don't know if I should try to stick it on like some nail glue or something. It fits perfectly! <laughs> look can you just imagine it with the tooth there? It's like a perfect smile. <laughs> Oh, that is so annoying. They did tell me that I have to be on a super soft diet for the next three weeks. So everything I have to make sure I cut up really, really small, shove it in the back of my mouth and chew like right at the back. I can't bite into anything. I can't have no crazy crisps or anything like that. It hasn't even been 24 hours, guys, and I already broke a freaking tooth. I'm so upset about it. I haven't even got to go on my stories yet to show off my new smile. I'm just going to show you guys from this angle. Like, look, it's like ding. It's so white, but I think I'm gonna go even whiter than this, guys. I feel like the shade is really similar to our natural tooth. I'm only gonna be doing the top 10 teeth for now, and then later on, I'm gonna be going back and doing my bottom 10 teeth. I definitely feel like I can go a little bit whiter. What do you guys think? I think I'm gonna go for like the second lighter shade. Not a shade that's too white, because I still wanna look cute even when I'm like 40 years old, you know, and when I have no makeup on, looking raggedy, I don't want it to be like ding. 
having like some bright ass white smile. Okay, so let's talk about yesterday's appointment because I feel like I didn't really get to chat to you guys about how everything went. I actually thought that I would be in a lot more pain than I was, but I was in hardly any pain, guys. The only thing that was annoying is that you just lay in there for literally like three to four hours and not doing anything. I almost fell asleep. That's how unpainful it was because they numb all of your teeth anyways. The only thing that was probably the most annoying thing was he had to do molds in my mouth. So we'd done at least like three molds and it's basically where they put this massive retainer filled with glue or this gummy thing and they put it in your mouth and the dentist kept putting his thumb like right here and I kept gagging guys. <laughs> I felt like I was getting deep throated. <laughs> he kept holding his thumb up here trying to push the retainer up to make sure that the mold is really, really crisp. However, that made me gag like a bitch. I thought I was gonna vomit on his ass. <laughs> and also there was a couple of situations where I kept forgetting to breathe because I feel like I'm quite a mouth breather. I always forget to breathe out my nose, but he kept telling me like, make sure you breathe out your nose, breathe out your nose. Because obviously this whole area, you can hardly get any air in because there's like all this goo and retainers and thumbs in your mouth. So you had to keep breathing out of your nose. And there were so many times I was like, it can feel a little bit claustrophobic a little bit. However, apart from that, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it would be a lot more painful. I thought I'll be able to feel everything. I tried to put in headphones at some points, which really, really did help. Today is an exciting day, guys, because I'm gonna be getting extensions put in today. Yeah! Look how sexy my hair looks right now. Val, Val, warm, honey. If you guys have been watching my vlogs for a long time, you guys will know that I used to have really, really long hair. Because your girl went blonde and, you know, there's always damage when you bleach your hair. My hair is actually quite short at the moment, so I miss my long hair back. So I'm going to be getting some tapered extensions put in my hair today. We have the hair magician here himself. Joey, he's in the house. You drove two and a half hours That's all it. the way to come and see me. Where are you from, Bridget? Uh, Leamington Spa. Oh, exactly. my God. Midlands. Oh, my God. Thank Thank you so much for coming all this way. We are transforming my hair today, guys. How long would you say my hair is? 12 or 14 oh my inches. God, guys, not the 14 inches. So we're gonna go <laughs> the long old 20 inches today, guys. Hopefully I'm gonna have hair tickling my bum crack again. <laughs> we are putting the tapes in now, guys. Can you believe we nearly done like quarter of my head? It's basically been like 20 minutes. Look at all these inches, honey. I'm gonna have permanently long hair for the next six to eight weeks, guys. Yes, I'm so excited for that. We're going for a 20 inch slimline tape extension. These are good because you can still put your hair up, which is amazing. And also I feel like it's less damaging on your hair. And the good thing about tapes is that you can actually reuse the hair as well. So once, you know, your hair starts to grow and it's starting to like flap a little bit, we can you know, dissolve it and then reuse the hair and slide it back up. So that's a really, really good way to like reuse the extensions. Mixing in like two different shades in my hair. It looks really, really natural. I miss having long hair just doing this. I'm like, oh, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, guys. <laughs> Show them how you do it. How does it work? So the tapes basically work a little bit like a sandwich. Oh, okay. So we obviously apply one tape on top. Mm -hmm. That then sticks to a piece of your hair. And then we obviously lift that through and apply another one underneath to sandwich them together. And that's how they stay in. Oh my God, awesome. How damaging would you say these are on your hair? Do you think they are damaging? Not very, no. Okay. As long as they're put in, mm -hmm. um, maintained and removed correctly, then no. No oh, damage. Okay, amazing. It's so long, we still need to trim it just to blend it in. Can't believe I have my long hair back, guys. Do you remember when my hair was naturally this long? We're gonna blend it in, but look at this color. It's the perfect mix as well. And you can still wear your hair up. I can't wait to do my messy bun, guys. Woo! We are getting the master hair tutorial right now. This is how you get the perfect curl. More of like a beachy wave, isn't yes. it? More of like a tussled wave. Yes. Instead of going wide yeah. that way, you need to go more narrow. Exactly. Okay. So we're working thick sections, but that way. Okay. And vertically. is that how much I should be sectioning? Because sometimes I section from ear to ear like this. I would like section like this whole bit at the top and then I'll do this bit at the bottom. But should I section this some bit at the front like this? Okay. I do, yeah. So then you get more of a consistent wave all the way through and then it doesn't separate so much. That's you me. get it to sit together a little bit okay. more. We're using a GHD curve wand. Okay. Clamp the hair in. Okay. Now you want this hair to sit flat against the tongue as it comes round. Flat. So you don't want that all bunched up. You want that to be oh, okay. flat around it. Okay. Flip that over. And you're probably going to leave about that much out. You okay. want to hold this for like 10 seconds. Okay. We're learning, guys. I bet you're going to do it and then one's going to be like skew with. So then you're going to take that off. Oh. And then keep these ends in. Yeah. And you just slightly release that clamp oh, and guide fruit. the ends through. <gasps> okay. 
so that it doesn't end up dead straight. Oh my it god, has just yes. like a bit of a wave to it. Oh my god, that's exactly how I done it at my skinny dip photo shoot. It looks like the ends were like smoother, mm -hmm. but not as curly as the rest. How high do you start it? Do you start like quite high up or like? Fairly, because obviously as you're twisting the wave, yeah. it comes away a little bit anyway, so okay. you're not going to get that curl right at the top. Okay, yeah. And then once you've pulled that through, it's yeah. going to be softer again. Okay. I'm going to try to do one and you can watch me and okay. see how I'm doing it wrong, okay? This hair is just gliding so smoothly, by the way, guys. It's just like smoothing through the GHD wand. And it's crazy because this is quite a short one, but it's fitting all of the hair as yeah. well. How do you know when to let go? What About you 10 seconds. Or you want to feel the heat coming right through. You okay. want that to be hot as the tongue. And I think that's what I'm doing wrong. You need to... And whilst I almost am letting that cool, that's curling then, like that, right. rather than pulling that through. Oh, okay. So yeah, you so can you keep that keep real bouncy going. wave. Mm -hmm. And then just, just the last move. Okay, amazing. The time has come where I have to attempt to <laughs> try to do Maybe a curl, guys. Would I do it like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Like that? Yeah. Okay, twist. That's it. I would hold, guide the top. Oh, yeah. guide the top. Okay, okay, wait. Right. Like that? Yeah. Touch that now, I would have left it go now. Would you keep it more? Yeah, you can go now. You so yeah, you're going to take that through, but then you want to keep that last bit in, yeah? Okay. Oh my God, okay, yeah. Oh, it's coming out like that. Is it meant to be That's it, out? and then again. Okay. No, and then you want time. to just pull it through that last bit. Oh. Let's just face it, you ruined it. Why am I so wriggly no, that, that is basically it, but okay. you did more twists as you came down it because you were pulling it down. But that is basically oh, it. Okay, that so instead it. I need to I need to go like more like this to take out the curl. That's what I, yeah, rather okay. than twist it like that. Right, okay, I see. Okay. We'll just okay. do this one quick. Okay, cool. Let me rewatch this one again, guys. Third no, time no, no, that was good. So I'm slightly opening the tongue right. to pull that through and then rolling it back. Oh, okay, okay. And then slightly opening the tongue. And then rolling it back. Right, I see. That's how you went so smooth. I feel like when I do, I was like tugging it. Okay. So then at this part, mm. rather than twisting it, yeah, I'm just gonna take the hair off it. Oh, I see. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so it's not as ringlety. Okay. I see. So it's just like go like this. Yeah. Okay. And then we're gonna go through the ends. Oh, oh my god! This is like what you see in the hair ads. And then once you dress it out, see, you get that like oh my god. wave. Oh my god! Amazing. Good morning everyone. It is the next day now. I literally woke up this morning and I'm like, wow, feels so good to wake up with just thick ass, nice juicy hair. I am currently in the middle of getting ready and I thought I'd chat with you guys to keep you guys updated on what's happening today because it is another full jam-packed busy day. I literally feel like I haven't even had a chance to like sit down and just go on my phone. I've got so many emails, so many notifications that I need to catch up on. There's a lot going on guys. I cannot believe that March is almost over. Over, I swear I feel like I'm blinking and this year is really like going through so quickly I'm like oh, it's like a bomb ticking before you know I'm gonna be 30 today is a really exciting day because me and Gwang are thinking about our next steps in our future you guys know that for the longest time my biggest goal was to buy a house and now that we have an amazing house that we live in we are now thinking what is the next steps that we need to be investing our money in i think for us the safest thing would be to invest into more property so that brings me into the exciting news that today we are going to be viewing our first ever investment property i am so nervous guys i literally feel like this is a whole new level of adulting which is 7 30 in the morning i am getting ready because we are going to go and view a property and i'm going to take you guys along with us it is a apartment that we're going to be investing in so i'm going to take you guys along with us to the viewing eventually we will be investing into properties all around the uk that's really scary because some properties we won't even be able to even view because we're probably going to be buying in manchester and birmingham and all these places that we don't live anywhere near so it's literally going to be the case of looking online and then purchasing on a website literally adding a whole house into your cart and never even seeing it like how crazy is that but i think for my first investment i don't know why i feel more comfortable going to a place that i can actually view it's a completely different ball game to buying a property that you're gonna live in obviously when you're buying your own place you're like you have this 
box to tick you need this 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 but when you are looking for an investment property you are looking from a completely different perspective you're looking on if this place is easily rentable is it close to things is it a good investment for a couple of years time like what is the things around the area that will hopefully make the property value go up there's a lot of things to consider guys and then after that i'm gonna be going to fix my veneer it's so annoying yesterday when i was doing my hair i was like smiling looking at myself in the mirror and i was like oh i think my new teeth look so nice and then when i look from this perspective i'm like oh i'm missing a goddamn teeth she looks like I'm, i've got like a black hole here so that's really annoying and then in the evening we are gonna go and meet my friends for dinner i'm gonna have drinks and cocktails yeah things are amazing right now guys i feel like i have a really nice balance of work a really nice balance of making memories meet new friends and yeah that's just what this year is all about i am dressed i'm ready to go guys i haven't done a liquid liner in so long hey i've got on my fashion nova bad bitch jumpsuit you guys know this is the jumpsuit that i wore when i saw this property for the first time and whenever i don't know what i'm wearing and i just need to feel confident this is the jumpsuit that i wear guys every time i wear this it makes me feel like a boss bitch baddie let's go and look at properties today adulting who am i so we just arrived at the apartment place and look it looks so pretty there's literally like seating areas everywhere and we was driving around it's such a nice sunny day today so it's really really good time to like gauge the area it's literally close to a supermarket as well which is amazing okay guys so we literally just arrived at the apartment and it's so weird because you have to take into consideration that you're not going to be living here this is for tenants this is an idea if you can easily rent it out and i feel so nervous guys i don't know why so we're gonna go in and do a little tour for the first time you can take you guys along with us oh this door's a heavy duty oh wow it's actually a lot bigger than i thought it would be a nice big hallway this is something that i actually really like when apartments have like a hallway sometimes apartments when you open the door it goes straight into like the living room which i don't really like i like the fact there's like a big open corridor space i feel like this would be an amazing place to put like coats or like a mirror or something as well <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm gonna live here guys on the left there's a bathroom this is nice this is nice Quite nice, big, spacious. They could definitely put like a mirror here or something. This is a two bedroom apartment and it's also a new build as well. We was umming and ahhing on whether we should invest in a new build or just go with like a fixer upper. Me and Gran, we ain't got the capacity to be fixing things, going in and making adjustments. If you were like a handyman and if you were a builder, you could do things like that yourself, then yes. But we do like the idea of like a new build. We moved in a new build ourselves and I love the fact that it's got a 10 year warranty because this is an apartment as well if things go wrong you know they have a concierge and all that kind of stuff so we're gonna have a look around pick out things because at the moment i can see a lot of things that i'm not liking really we're going to bedroom number one. Oh, the carpet is very soft this is so crazy it's very small i know it's so small compared to our home but we have to remember that this is not a house for us i do really like the big tall windows the bed will go over here both bedrooms have their own bathroom, which is amazing. Like, this bathroom is huge. It's literally got its own bath. I wish our ensuite was as big as this. Okay, so that was bedroom number one. Let's go to bedroom number two. This room is slightly bigger than the last one. I think I actually prefer this bathroom, you know. I feel like this is all you fucking need, like a shower. I love having an ensuite so much. So I love the fact that both bedrooms have an ensuite. So we can rent out to like two different people, you know. Here we have a huge like storage cupboard. It's like a utility cupboard. So you've got a washing machine in here, which is great. And then I guess they can put like a tumble dry here if they want to. And through here is the open plan living room. I feel like open plan is just like the new thing, isn't it? That's all you need. You don't need a separate kitchen and a separate living room. Open plan is like the best thing ever because you literally cook, eat, and watch TV at the same time. Okay, so just looking at this, I really like the fact that the extractor is hidden. So let's just open this up. And they still utilize the space. I don't know why this is giving me ideas for my own house. And then there's just loads of like cupboard space as well. Like this is like a big area for like plants here and stuff. In this apartment block, every single apartment that has been bought already has already got tenants in it. So that is a huge sign that a lot of people are looking for this area. That's the 
scariest thing, right? When you invest in a place and it's hard to find tenants. Also, this apartment is literally walking distance within the train station, which is a huge plus when it comes to investing into a place because you want it to be close and accessible to a lot of places. Okay, so we just finished up looking at the apartment and guys, I just feel so like, oh, I feel like we have to make a decision because I know there's loads of people that are looking for this apartment and we basically have to decide today or tomorrow if we want to go ahead with it. Normally, if this apartment was in like Manchester or something like that, we wouldn't even be able to get to view it. Because we are viewing it, we are nitpicking on like the tiniest little things like the tile is not correct or like some things are like wonky, the build isn't as amazing as we want it to be. But we also have to look at the bigger picture and think about investment wise, in a couple of years time, will this area develop? Will it grow? Will it be an easy place to find tenants? And it's just a mind fuck, guys. I see the build of it. If it was personally that it was for me, no, straight away. Yeah. We've been looking at so many properties that I can tell in five minutes that I like it or I don't like it. Yeah, but that's because you're living there. You're not living in this place though. So you Yeah, have to so the, the guy who we had a meeting with, he said to us, don't have an emotional attachment to it. I know. And it's true. You also have to think that we're putting a lot of money into it and it has to be some sort of right decision about it. We can't just put our money in a property and it is terrible. We've got a lot of things to do, but we are on our way to Royal Wharf now where I get to go fix my missing veneer. Yay! <laughs> yes, I got my teeth fixed and I changed the shape of them. Eee! I don't even know if you guys noticed, but there's so many different shapes to teeth. There's like the Hollywood smile, there's the natural smile. I went for a softened smile. So it's kind of like in between a natural look and the Hollywood smile. He literally just gave me a little bit more like a groove in between each tooth. So it looks kind of a bit more natural now. The look that I had yesterday was amazing if you want that perfect hollywood smile but sometimes in certain lights it can look a little bit fake you know you guys know i don't mind a little bit of fakey fake the shade that i'm gonna go for is really really white so i still want the shape of my teeth to look quite natural but it being really white this is it now guys look oh my god they're literally perfect oh so happy with them oh dr luke is though. the best and lucky I went also today to the dentist because he actually found that this tooth was cracked as well. There was another tooth that was slightly had like a little gap in it. So luckily I went in today because he catched it last minute and he was like, I'm going to glue it back down to make sure that nothing's going to happen. He said, you have to be extra, extra careful. So I'm like, okay. Now I just have to wait for the permanent ones in the next three weeks, guys. Hello. It's St. Paddy's Day. Hi. I feel like a green Power Ranger right now. Ooh, what's this? Hopefully that's not a cuss word or something, I don't know. Why we... do you look like a Spice Girl? Oh, okay. I'll take that. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. How cute is this little outfit today? I've got pigtails. When's the last time I had pigtails, guys? Oh, I have long hair. So much fun. You can do anything you want with long hair. We are heading out tonight. <laughs> It's St. Paddy's Day today, so we are actually going to be going into London. We're going to be having dinner with some friends. We're going to the Mandrick Hotel and they're going to have like live music there. We're going to have like dinner, drinks and all that kind of stuff. You look cute. I'm black as usual. Who's <laughs> my colour in my life. <laughs> as always, guys. As story always. of my life, you know. You know what, yeah? I need more smart attire. I've got a handful of shirts that I kind of pick and choose from. Okay, so, so more yeah, shopping for you then. More shopping for me. <laughs> I look for my wardrobe now that I've got a bigger wardrobe. Yeah. And because we go out a lot more, I really do not have any clothes. <laughs> I really do not. Now you know how I feel. You have a wardrobe full of clothes. You're like, I have nothing to wear. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the journey of my new hair, my new teeth. This week has been a whole transformation this week, guys. I've been going through so many different emotions. We have still not made a decision on whether we're gonna go for that apartment yet. I literally feel like we need to sit down and just like weigh up all the pros and the yeah. cons and stuff like that. I'm excited that I was able to take you guys along with me. Let me know what you guys thought of the apartment and if you think it's a good investment. Obviously you guys don't know much about the area and stuff like that. But it's something that we're gonna have to like sit down yeah. and think about like proper adult moves, guys. That is it for this week's vlog, guys. We are gonna end it right here and say peace. Sayonara. Sayonara, see ya, au revoir. I need to learn some other languages because I always just say the same three languages. Bye bye, please come again. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Hello. Tway. Let's see if she runs the gums. Come here. What do you mean, whoa? I don't go up your guts. God you hear sakes, that? Bloody hell. If this is not something that is important, you're gonna get a. 
Oh, oh, my hand. We're gonna start the vlog right here, right now. Right here, right now, right here, right now, right here. Right here. Right. It's really dark in my room, isn't it? Cause it's great. Cause it's the vibes. You know what I mean? He like, says it's black, but it's actually grey. Comment down below, is it black or grey? It's, it's grey. black. It's black, bruv. Definitely grey. The black tone, right? No. Good things comes in yellow boxes. Oh yeah, this is a nice yellow box. Oh, you stupid idiot. Stop grabbing that nuts. You guys, do you... Oh, oh, excuse me, Red! <laughs> it's the worst thing ever because, you know when you have a long day and you're like, I'm not done a workout yet. Mm -hmm. it's and then it's the mind. last thing that you want to do before you finish. Time to check out and then you got to work out. Yeah, the and then you got to shower. Yeah. And then you got to dead relax. Yeah, but and then now, by then it's like 10 p.m. It's time to go to bed. The annoying thing is in the morning, I feel like I'm so productive on my phone and stuff like that. The last thing I want to do is go to do a workout. And then I get hungry and then I'm like, let's go make some food. And then I'm like, I can't work out straight away after my food. And then I have to go to work. And then before you know it, you haven't done a workout. And then before you know it, you fat, you got rolled, your double chin's back. And it's just like a constant cycle, guys. Not yet. Not yet. See that, guys. Once we start my period, I can feel it. Bye, right, bye. See ya. That's my cue to leave right yes. now. Bye, bye, bye. See ya. Today is an important day though guys, it's Friday. That means it's been seven days since my pill has been activated. You know what that means? <laughs> that means I can fuck your bear back. No, not me, mate. <laughs>